Okay, so that's how it comes. It's all been strung. Uh, they lay fat over the top of it. Uh, but for this dish, I'm going to get rid of that. So basically all I'm doing is um, cutting into big steaks. And it's dead, dead simple. Um, and it, I mean, really, you know, what I'm looking for is, as you, as you buy a nice steak from a butcher, that's, that's what you want. And it's the sort of dish that um, apparently used to be on, on every barge going down the, the canals of France, which is all quite romantic. But it's, it's really straightforward. And it's got this lovely kick right at the end with the anchovy. Right, OK, so what you need to do... Quite an unusual combination, anchovy with beef. I mean, with lamb, anchovy and cake is quite traditional, but with beef, slightly... Uh, yeah, it is unusual, beef. but it, do you know what? It works. It's a, it's a fantastic dish. I absolutely love it because it is so straightforward. Um, and if, uh, you know, if you didn't want to use anchovy, you could probably use cake. You know? yeah. I wouldn't blitz them up, I'd, I'd use them whole. But, yes. um, uh, but you're going to get that salty kind of twang. There. Anyway, so I've got the butter in here. Um, there's about half a pack. I mean, judge it, judge it by eye. And what I'm going to do is I've got a few white onions in there. I can season each layer, OK? Bit of salt, bit of pepper. Um, now, the meat, there's no browning involved. There's nothing, nothing to do. You just simply cut it, lay it in, um, and just, just stack it up. And then when this is in, another seasoning, and keep going. Have you sliced it quite thinly, Matt? No, it's kind of steak size. Right, you lovely. Know? OK. This is great when you're cooking for about six people. You don't have to worry. Oh, it's, it's a great dish. Okay, so another layer of onions. Um, and there's uh, the butter and the onions are going to give all that juice and all that moisture to it. And there's nothing else going in it. So there's a little bit more seasoning. Do you say you use white onions, Matt? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, they're, they're very sweet to use. Yeah. You could use, I haven't tried it with red onions. So I suspect you could use red onions. But uh, I like to try and keep it, you know, as per the recipe. Let's get that on. And do the onions kind of caramelise a little bit, or they? Not really. No, no, no. You want it. I mean, it's just to get that initial sort of boost of heat going in there. You know. So. Have you got any herbs in there? Uh, I haven't. I'm going to stick a couple of bay leaves in. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> what do you got in there? <laughs> so um, okay, more butter. It's not a healthy dish. It is. The butter is good for you. Huh? Butter is good for you. Well, not that one. Yeah, half a pack. Butter is good for you. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, a few bay leaves. Part two. Just keep it the all moist and seal then. the top. Lid on. Wait for that to, to start sizzling. Okay.